This video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our formal living room. This is the first room that you walk into when you enter our house. So it's kind of like an entry, pretty pretty entryway and also the formal living. We have done so much to this room. When we moved into this house, this room was pure white. Everything was painted white from the beams to the walls to the windows to the fireplace. The only warmth in this space was really the floors and the stair risers. Uh, so we have beautiful original oak floors in this house and in addition to some brick in some other parts of the house, but the oak floors are absolutely beautiful. And when we moved in, I knew that this room had so much potential. Over a five part series, we made over this room. So this room has come so, so far, but I feel like we all have those rooms that we can just take up a notch. And I've been feeling like a couple of things were missing from this space. So the first thing that we're gonna be adding to this space is curtains. And for me, curtains do lots of different things. We're lucky that we don't actually need curtains for privacy, but naturally curtains would provide privacy. Our house is completely kind of like greened in. <laughs> We've got trees everywhere. So you can't actually see directly into our house unless you're on the property. Uh, so we don't need it for privacy, but that's obviously something that it gives. It also would diffuse light if you need it. On hot days, you can close your curtains so it, your house doesn't get so hot. And also it adds texture and visual interest. So why I'm adding it is really for that added element, that texture. We have this beautiful bay window, truly. It's a short bay. It doesn't really go all the way to the ceiling. It just is kind of boxed out. I love the windows. I didn't want to cover up the windows by doing either cafe curtains or curtains inside. What I thought really lacked was just this wall didn't have any interest. You've got a blank wall there. You've got your window with nothing around it, just really simple. You've got another smaller blank wall and the front door. This wall just didn't, we did so much in this space. We had tons of art, so I didn't want to do more art on the side walls. So I thought a remedy was to actually put curtains around the window. So instead of it being inset, it would be around. Now that's not common. You don't see that a lot, especially when you type in like on Pinterest, bay window curtains, bay window whatever, you will always see the curtains inside. But I wanted to do it outside. So I did find one picture so you can kind of visualize what it will look like. Uh, so my plan is to go pretty high, close to the ceiling, and then extend the curtains halfway on each side of the wall so that it'll really fill out the wall space. It'll add texture and visual interest to this wall like it's been thought about and just be really pretty. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. You probably have seen so many people talk about the two pages curtains that you can get on Amazon that are custom to what you need. That you can do custom sizing, a custom pleat or attachment at the top. You can have them memory pressed and all of these things. So I'm gonna give you my real opinion about them. This is exactly how they came. I ordered two panels. Here's all the information that I actually plugged in. I went ahead and got them memory shaped so that they had a really nice crease because we don't plan on ever closing these. So since these are made to order, you have to wait for them to be made. They actually came sooner than expected though. Why don't they even come with hooks? Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that they came with those. These are adjustable drapery pin hooks. There's 28 of them in here. And these are more, more hooks. We'll figure out what we're supposed to do with those. So I did not get mine lined. I didn't want them to be thicker than they already were. I didn't need any blackout either, but you can obviously do that. I ordered a swatch book. After looking at all the colors, I really liked this one. It wasn't too light. It wasn't too dark. Uh, it was kind of right in the middle. I obviously wanted to go with a more moody palette in here, so I didn't want anything too light. I got the like triple pleat. That is so pretty. I mean, overall, this is done really well. They put like infusing, like thick infusing, so it stays really structured. 
And then since I didn't do a liner, there's nothing here, they just kind of folded it over and hemmed. And then this is how the bottom hem is. I mean, that's beautiful. You know, honestly, I was definitely pretty skeptical. But I was like, I'll be the guinea pig, I'll see. And honestly, guys, overall, it's really good quality. So since we have a lot of brass and gold accents in here, uh, I went with a brass rod. I needed like a 10 foot span. Really nice brass. And these did come with some little end, like simple ends. So we'll see. I if, if I like any kind of end, I want it to be simple. For the rings, brass rings that just have the hole at the bottom so that we can slip the drapery hook on these. Put the curtain on it, I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna actually mark where I need to attach them to the wall so that they hit the ground and they're like the, ti the tiniest bit above it. Like I'm talking like a quarter inch. I wanted it as close to the ceiling as possible to like lift the ceilings up especially since our ceiling kind of like cuts down inch and three quarter from that seam. So I wanted to go a foot and a half past this edge of the bay window and then an inch and a quarter down. This is a very odd thing. The brass rod that I ordered came with silver screws. I will be touching that up with some Roman buff. Beautiful. Two more times. I didn't put all the rings on. I need 13 for each panel. I need 26 rings total. quite sure what the silver ones do. They're shorter, so maybe it gives it a different look. Maybe it actually hides the rod. These fit the pleat better. Adjustable. Oh, these are adjustable too, so you could actually bring this part down to hide even more. We're just gonna put them up. actually blown away like I didn't realize it would change the space this much this was the best investment no safe like simply safe a big thank you to simply safe for sponsoring today's video because over a year and a half ago when we moved into the cottage we actually invested in the simply safe home security system for the cottage because everyone raved about it the easy to install everything about it was amazing and we have loved it so when they reached out to partner on this video I was so excited because we're finally gonna get simply safe and a home security system for our new home especially as we transition out of summer and into the fall season where we're gonna be in and out of the house with our busy schedules. So it's so reassuring to know that our home will be protected with Simply Safe. It is a whole home comprehensive security system to detect threats like break ins, fires, floods, and more. And with 24 7 Live Guard Protect, which costs less than a dollar a day, you guys. And we've had it at the cottage for over a year now. Simply Safe agents will immediately assess the threat, contact you, and dispatch first responders if they need to to your address. And they just came out with their new Smart Alarm indoor wireless camera, which has a combo of features. It acts as a motion sensor, and the system will detect between humans and pets, because that was a big question I had. Well, what if Kinsley just moves around and it detects her? A Simply Safe agent can actually talk through the camera, telling intruders that the police are on their way. What I loved about the system when we first got it was how easy it was to install, but you can of course get a professional installation from Simply Safe as well, and they never Never lock you into a contract like traditional home system or charge you hidden fees. 
you guys can save 20% on a Simply Safe security system when you sign up for the Fast Protect monitoring plan and get your first month free. So go to simplysafe.com slash XO McKenna to customize yours. Okay, another thing that I don't think looks very elevated, very good, are the builder grade switches and plate covers. This is the cheapest that you can buy from the hardware store. You can get the plate for about a dollar, each of the switches for around there as well, and they're pure white. They're very cheap looking, they look very plastic to me, and I know why they had the white ones in this house, because the whole whole house was painted white inside. So they did disappear when this room wasn't painted this color. But now that we warmed up the walls, these are sticking out to me and they're like driving me crazy. There is a company that makes really pretty switches. They are a little more retro looking to me and it can be costly. I think I cost it out just doing this one section and it was over a hundred dollars. So I went on a hunt to find nicer, switches and switch plates and outlets that looked better than this, that complemented the tone of the actual walls better so that they just disappear. It's like, that's my goal. I don't want them to be a statement. I just want them to be gone. And this is sticking out too much for me. I found these online. They're from a company called Legrand in Radiant Pass and Seymour. I don't know, something like that. And I wanted to make sure that I could find the switches and the outlets and the covers all from the same company so that they all matched because I was really worried about that. I found a nickel color. I was a little worried. I was like, oh, I think that that might look really good with the wall color because our wall color is like a gray taupe with a tinge of, of warm underneath. And so is nickel. Nickel has a tinge of warmth. So they're paddle rockers like that. So here's the current white color that I don't like. You see how, I don't know, something about it just feels very cheap to me. I just, I just wanted to elevate it in a cost effective way. So this is the nickel color. So that's, I mean, that's pretty close. Now nickel naturally, like when you kind of move throughout the room, it's gonna kind of see it's like a little darker if you look that way. And it's the same color there or a little silver. So it's, it's going, it's more metallic. So it's gonna have that sheen. But what do you guys think? Does this look better than that? With a screwless wall plate. So it's just gonna like, I feel like it's gonna look super clean. I think it looks a little more tonal and a little more put together. For the cost of a few dollars between the two, not bad. If I was doing a renovation or building a new build, I would pay attention to this because the electricians are going to ask you what you want, what type of switch you want, whether it's a rocker, or a switch like that. That's your opportunity to pick something really complementing to your paint color. And I know if you're like me, you won't know what colors you wanna do each room while you're in renovation stage, at least I didn't. Uh, so it can be a little tricky. Like in the cottage, we went with an almond color because I knew I wasn't gonna do the white, the walls white, and it did really well. It complemented the majority of the wall colors in the front of the house really well because we did gray mist and gray mist and the almond looks almost the same. They're not screwless like this, which I think looks better, but that's kind of your opportunity to pick these since you're already buying them for the house. Another thing that I didn't like about this specific switch combo situation is they're all different. Like wh why are they all different? One is like a, just a regular switch and then one is a dimmer with a switch down here and then one is a rocker. That bugs me. <laughs> So I got two of the plain rocker versions that will replace the two on the ends, one and one. And then I got the paddle dimmer. So it's the same color, the same type, but it has the little dimmer kind of like up and down. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. This one was definitely pricier because these were just a few dollars. It's gonna be a little dark in here because I had to turn the power off in order to do this. But if you have ever changed out a light fixture in your house, a vanity light, a, a chandelier, a pendant light, anything like that. It's the same thing. It's the same process. It's super easy. I actually didn't realize how easy it was until I tried it for the first time and we switched our, our switches at, a, at our apartment. Just wanna make sure that the power is off because you don't wanna electrocute yourself. So there's no power in here. Then we're just going to disassemble this one, taking off the plate. I'm so excited to get rid of these. Just those small things. Like, comment below if you are also like that. Like, if you just 
the smallest thing can irk you. Like I can walk in somewhere, a restaurant, um, anywhere really. If something's crooked, like a picture of the wall is crooked, it's all I focus on. It's just like my thing. It's like, I just want to fix it. Okay, and then we'll take this outlet out. I don't even really need a power tool to do this. I just, <laughs> easier. What you'll find are wires, just like you would if you were changing out a light fixture. Um, one on, oh, this one has like tape and things. See, like, no. <laughs> If they needed electrical tape, I'm worried about how much of a hazard this was to begin with. Sometimes you'll find more than two wires. So we're gonna unscrew them and take the wire off each side. Okay, and now we're gonna replace it with this. Now this is somewhat different. Normally you see a screw on each side. The new ones have the, you know, the ground, but then they have just these two. Since we just got two screws, <laughs> we're gonna do it like this. And then we're just gonna stick everything back inside. So now it's connected all in. This is actually a really cool plate. When they're, when they're screwless plates like this, they're actually pretty cool. You basically screw this around. Up, okay, it says up. Okay, I'm gonna turn the power on. Let's see if it, it works. I don't know why this always makes me nervous, but it turns on this light here. <laughs> and it's pretty successful most of the time. That's so nice, you guys. I mean, it really took it up a notch. Comment down below if you would do this in your house. I feel like this one is going to be a little trickier because I have three next to each other. I haven't ever done that before. So this one's gonna be interesting. But overall, I mean, a really simple process for an elevated look for your switches. Do them one at a time so I know which one is for which. Four feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway. Another update for this space, just for my space in general, are these nesting tables that I wanted to turn into a coffee table. They obviously have nothing on top. They're clearly not functional. I found these at the flea market for a steal, but you needed toppers. So normally when you see coffee tables like this, like brass bottoms, you see glass on top. And I don't tend to like glass. I don't have glass shelving or any kind of like detail of glass. So I knew I didn't want that. So I've been on the hunt to find some like round toppers. This is a very specific sizing. I had this idea to go to a countertop fabrication place where they sell stone for countertops for like kitchens. Same thing that we did for the cottage. And I wanted to go specifically to the fabricators to see if they had anything left over. So I drove to the general area where they were and this nice lady told me she was like, go right down there, talk to them and they may have a remnant for you. So he showed me around. He let me look at everything that he had that would have been big enough to make two circles out of. And he had this beautiful marble from Spain that was really neutral, that had very neutral movement. And that's really what I was looking for for this space. I didn't want anything too loud or um, contrasting because we did have so much contrast going on in the room. It's very neutral. It doesn't have a ton of movement. So they are currently fabricating these to the exact dimensions that I need. You guys, these are so pretty. I can't wait to see them on the tables. He polished both sides too. And I love the veining that he chose. He obviously had to pick the portions that he was gonna cut. And I wanted their, them to be interesting. He did a great job. Taking them out of the car, started to second guess the sizing. Sometimes things just don't look like they're gonna be the right size. I think they're fine. I was just second guessing myself. Oh, 
These look so good, you guys. I can put some like little rubber feet on the bottom or like little grip pads, I think. I don't think that they will shift. They're heavy enough. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so happy with like the section of the marble that he used and they still nest together. I can still move it under, which is great. Kind of nestle them a little bit more if I wanted to. I like it so much better than glass. And nesting tables, I think traditionally maybe go, you know, like on the sides of things, you know, like or in the middle of furniture instead of like as a coffee table. But I really liked them. So since they're not super large, I don't want to over decorate them. A candle is always a must for me. Maybe the coffee table book, just to kind of give it that vibe. Kind of do that. And some coasters. I got these at Home Goods. They were. I don't know, I was just passing the aisle and they had like some marble coasters, marble and wood coasters. I thought they were kind of pretty, just like simple, really nice, but like just keeping it really simple. It's so nice to not have them just as holes anymore that they're actual like, they have tops on them. And one more update that I wanna do is that there is a spot in the gallery wall that I have been saving. <laughs> And if you saw the whole series and where specifically the episode where we did the gallery wall, you saw that I have this picture of Kinsley. It's an oil painting that my mom actually did. And she updated the background for me. So the background originally was more like icy blue. And every time I would put it up there, it just something about it w wasn't working. It didn't really flow with the art that I really gravitate towards and I really buy um, because I don't really decorate in like icy cool colors like gray uh, so she updated the background to be more like green darker i actually love it because now kinsley stands out a lot more um a lot more than she did on the icy color and it flows and picks up with a lot of like the landscape green and the other art and like ties all of those colors together so it's definitely going to like blend in better and she'll have a really permanent place on the stairs which just makes me really happy enjoyed these updates that we made to our living room and it gave you some ideas maybe to elevate your own space just paying attention to the small details is something I've always loved to do and they really really make a big impact so I will leave everything linked for you a big thank you to simply safe for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys very soon because we have so many fun projects to do with the house I want to do bookshelves next in the um, informal living room I feel like that's really going to make a statement in that space and just slowly transform this house from blank white rooms into a place to call home. Also update, mom, Romeo and I are going to France to shop the Paris fleas and we're going to the south of France on a really epic trip I gave my mom for Mother's Day, like felt like so long ago. We are going, so stay tuned over on my vlog channel. I will have tons of Paris vlogs and shopping with us in hauls and just seeing what we can find uh, to bring back in our luggage. So stay tuned. Oh my God. Is that I supposed to do that? I have them perfectly spaced. <laughs> oh! That's a little bit better. <laughs> of course. Of course a dude would do that.